This week's call to prayer at the Islamic Center of Charlotte is bringing moments of thanks for those with family ties to Egypt. I'm ecstatic. I mean, my family over there is out in the streets. They're throwing out fireworks. They're, um, this is just a new uh, breath of fresh air. For members of this local mosque, yeah, word that President thing. Mubarak has stepped down brought a sense of cultural pride. Yeah. Moments of rejoicing from events occurring thousands of miles away. Singing the Egyptian national anthem gives some of these immigrants hope for their native homeland. I hope for democracy, democracy for all Egyptian and all Middle East. Democracy may be one of the rewards of this people's revolution, but those following developments in Cairo realize that any changes on Egyptian soil may be slow to come. Egypt will come back. We are so happy for what happened. We are so happy. Happiness does come from the jubilant images found in Egypt's seat of power, but Yasser El Ziadi of Alexandria mourns the losses of those who will never taste the fruits of their sacrifices. The people they die before, it's how many? Like almost 400. That's what we know. Yeah. It's 400, and I'm right. sure it's right. more than that. Serious lessons have come from these demonstrations. You're not just one person, and you have the ability to speak out against the government, you know? So. Um, it's always said that the government is um, voted by the people for the people and finally this is what's come out of it.